Hey guys, what's happening? So, ever since I've gotten a 3D printers, laser cutters, and CNC machines, I've been having to make a lot of custom cables, like these uh, JST connectors or the uh, these ML connectors. And they actually have like, these little tiny microscopic crimps. So, I decided to finally bust out and buy a real set of crimpers. Um, yeah, these are really hard. They're microscopic, but they're hard to crimp. So, I bought a new set of crimpers. Um, show them here real fast. These actually used to be really expensive. The last time I had looked, they were like 50 to 60 bucks. But, uh, I wish. So, yeah, these, they've definitely gone down in price. So, before I was actually using this little cheaper pair of crimps right here. Um, and actually, I didn't really use that that much because I, I could never get it to crimp right. So, I'm hoping these will work, work better. Um, We'll give a couple of Tesco's here because I got to make some custom cables. But uh, all right, so yeah, before I was actually soldering the thing, and you don't really want to solder those microscopic wires um, because you can actually mess up the wire. Um, you know, over time, you you basically wick the wire. Um, but I was just using like my little um, needle nose pliers to, to crimp them on there, but it still, it's never perfect. So I'm hoping I can uh, finally. Do it the right way with the the right pair of crimps. So we'll see. Right, so if you look at the crimping head, there's actually multiple different sizes. So on each here and here, there are two different sizes. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but see that there's, there's two different heads on here. So I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I'm going to give it a test go and we'll see what's up. Alright, so what you see in front of you is my 3018 CNC. And the other day I was walking by and I kicked one of the wires. Yeah, I don't like when they're all separate like this. I like when they're all stuck or, you know, together like that. So I'm going to shorten this. I'm also going to shrink wrap it to make it nice and clean. I might do the same for the bottom wires over here too. Just so it's not so messy. Um, Alright, so I'm going to do that. But I need to redo all the wires. And I got the, went to Marvac and I got the, the crimps. I guess these are called, uh, I, I thought these were JST connectors, but I guess they're called KHS connectors. That's at least what they call them, so. Alright, so I'm going to use my wire cutters. This should actually have some wire cutters on it. So I'm going to cut it about right there. In case I want to move around a little bit. Alright, I'm going to take the connector off here. Yeah, these are microscopic. I even have my heavily magnifying glasses on, too, so. Alright, so I'm going to use my wire strippers. And take a couple millimeters off. Yep. Sometimes they're hard to grab. Like I said, these wires are tiny. A couple of millimeters off. And that's it. You're going to want to do this in two different shots. So what you have is you have a wire management right here. And then you also have like a like a like a smaller crimp. Actually that holds the actual wire, the conductor. So um you first actually crimp down the wire portion first, at least I do. Alright, so this is a super headache with these small small wires here, but... So to get the connector started, I usually use just a little bit of my needle nose just to get the wire on the, on the connector. And i got to come back in here and... Make sure I'm on the right side here. Okay. Then I'm going to fish that up into it. Make sure that's down like that. I don't really like this ratchet and action of this thing so much. It doesn't give me control. I have to usually over crimp it. There you go. Okay, I had to go harder. Because what happens is this thing will actually want to cut the wire if I go too hard. But I didn't get down. Okay. Alright, I think we're looking good. Make sure I didn't cut the wire. So that what I'm more concerned about is cutting the wire right there. If I crimp it down too hard, but that actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to verify all this with my multimeter to make sure I'm getting continuity. But there we go, that's a good one right there. Yeah, this it, it's so small I have my super magnifying glasses on. 
I'll do another one. Make sure that's positioned. Up. Make sure that connector's out of the way. got this down with the wire in there but what I realized is these crimpers are probably not the best for these ultra microscopic ones they're probably better for like larger ones like I'm gonna do right now I gotta fix my uh, printer bed here my uh, bed thermistor is acting weird so um, yeah like I said the microscopic ones are, are super difficult well, let me show you that real fact from the factory I mean look at this I mean, that's microscopic all right, so since these crimps are a little bigger, I can just get them to fit in there. So yeah, this is my thermistor on my heated bed. As you can see, the crimp is a lot better. A lot easier to deal with. All right, so that's in this review of this thing. Um, pretty cool. I mean, I wish you could disable the ratcheting feature because uh, sometimes it makes you, you don't want to crimp it down that hard. So, and that kind of locks you into it, so. Um, yeah, pretty cool. 22 bucks though, so I mean, good deal for 22 bucks. Like if I spend like 100 bucks, I'd probably be kind of annoyed, but 22 bucks, not a bad deal.